Hi everyone, welcome back to DeFi Daily. Today we're gonna to talk about a, a tool that will be really able to simplify your life when you are using the DeFi. And I'm talking about the DeFi Yield app. Before to start guys, I would like to ask you to subscribe if you are new. And remember, if you like this kind of content, if you like what I'm doing, the best way to sustain me is always leaving a big thumbs up and drop a comment. Remember also that all the contents in this channel are for educational purpose and nothing has to be intended as a financial advice. If you want to invest in anything, that's great, but always your own research first. Okay, we can jump into the topic starting from the DeFi Yield app website. As you can easily understand from this interface, this is a tool that will help you to manage the uh, different DeFi investments that you have. But it's not ended here because they are implementing a couple of features that are really useful, not only to manage your portfolio, but also to be more secure because one of the main concerns that we have in the moment when we are using a DeFi platform is, is it secure or not? And that's the, what this kind of app is also trying to solve. Before going uh, deeper inside how the platform is working and I will show you all the different features, let me tell you a couple of things about this uh, app. I'll start saying that we are in front of an app that is growing a lot, as you can see also from here. They have more than 350 different users with an integration of more than 17 blockchains, as you can see here, integrated networks. And this is something that is pretty important because one of the main limits of the many different apps that are outside, that are allowing you to um, track your portfolio is that most of the time they are not able to track all the different blockchains. As you know, right now, the different blockchains are many of them and every day another one is popping out and each of them is developing his own ecosystem into the DeFi. So having an app that is able to integrate 17 different networks is pretty good. And the other are also coming as you can see from here. The ones that I'm waiting at most is the Terra one that is one of my favorite ecosystems. So being able to uh, manage not only all the EVM compatible uh, blockchains into the same tool, not only the Solana ecosystem, but also the Terra ecosystem, at least for me, it's something that is pretty powerful. Another thing that I want to share with you is how is backed this company because one of the main worries that we have in the moment when we are using an app like for example DeFi Yield that is tracking our portfolio, that is analyzing it and so on, is that we have to be assured that the company that is behind, it is a clean company, they are not here to try to steal our data and so on. And seeing a company that is backed by most of the different ventures and investors into this market is something that is quite good. Not to mention that also seeing some angels with their face, even in this case is something that I really appreciate. Because when we are talking about DeFi, most of the time we are seeing just projects with some anonymous team and with just some uh, weird nickname. On the other side, having some face, someone to trust, at least in my opinion, is something really important. At the same time, also all the main opinion leaders are talking about this project. So as you can see, we are talking about a project that is trying to do the things in the right way and it has the goal to become one of the most important point of reference for the whole industry. Understood this, let's have a look on how does it work, their platform and what they are offering. As you can see, in order to watch your portfolio, you can use or a, a domain is available on Solana and also on Ethereum or a valid address. The address is just the string of numbers and letters that is composing your wallet address. Going inside the app, this is the main dashboard that you will find in the moment when you connect your own wallet. As you can see, on top you will find a brief summary and going down you will find the breakdown into the all different networks that are supported. So you will be immediately able to have a look to understand how much cryptos do you have inside each network. You can even decide to click on them and see the overview for each single blockchain, seeing the protocols that you are using, the amount of wallet and also the amount of staking cryptos that you have. Going back here, you can also go down and you will see all the protocols that you are using. For each protocol, you can click on them 
and you will find all the different metrics that you are moving inside the protocol. In this case, we are using a money market, so you will find all the cryptos that you have deposited inside the protocol, including the APY that you are earning and the value of your position. On the other side, you will have also the borrowed amount, so how much money you took from that platform, including the same metrics that we have seen just a moment ago. Uh, going down, you can create some bundles in order to add more address because most of the time uh, we are using more than just one address. So if you have, let's say, for example, 10 different addresses, you can use DeFi Yield in order to track all of them. And it's something that is quite powerful, especially if you think that most of the time when you are trying to track uh, your wallet, when we are talking about EVM compatible is one story, but trying to merge EVM compatible with Solana and in the future as uh, DeFi Yield is moving uh, with Terra is something that is more complex. And having the opportunity to do it with, for example, DeFi Yield that right now it is allowing you to connect all the EVM compatible, so the Ethereum virtual machine wallets plus Solana is something that's quite good. In this case, these are all the wallets that are supported for Ethereum virtual machine. And on the other side, on Solana, these are the wallets that are supported for Solana. You will have the opportunity to track also all the NFTs that you are uh, owning. You will have the breakdown of your wallet. But what is also interesting is the two features that are coming right now. That one is the pool. So all the yield farming activities that you are doing, or specifically, let's say that you have added some liquid to a specific pool, you will have the opportunity to monitor it from this interface. Uh, the uh, next one is the staking feature where you can find all the different details about the cryptos that you have staked into different DEXs. For example, in this case, we are talking about uh, Alpaca. Uh, here you can find about uh, Trader Joe and so on. As you can see here, the first table is about your staking activities. The second one is also a way to explore opportunities. Let's say that you have some ETH and you want to see a couple of opportunities in order to uh, understand how you can earn from your ETH, you will find here also another breakdown in order to be able to find into the fastest way and also in the more efficient way the uh, pool that is the best one for your need. Going down, we are coming to a section that to me is probably even more important than just tracking because yes, it's nice to having the opportunity to track all the different activities that are coming out and in from your wallet. But another story is also having some tool that is able to increase the level of security connected to your DeFi operations. At the moment, there are three different tools that are already available. That is the approvals one. So where you can find all the contracts that you have approved uh, with your wallet. And here you can find all the details, unknown contract, all the contracts and for each asset, the allo one. So what kind of limits, for example, that kind of contract could have. And you can decline or update the uh, permission that you have uh, already granted and so on for each uh, DeFi uh, protocol that you are using. This is something that I highly recommend you to have a look because it's not so uncommon to see people that are just uh, granting the permission to the wrong smart contract and that smart contract is able to steal their cryptos. And always tracking what kind of approvals you have already granted and in case always check them and change them if they are not anymore necessary. Because the lower is the amount of permission that you gave, the higher is also the security that you have inside your portfolio. The other tool is the impermanent loss calculator. This is something that many people are always asking, oh, how much money I will lose? What is the impermanent loss? How does it work? With this kind of tool, you will free to calculate it by your own. Just uh, follow the uh, configurator and you will find the amount of impermanent loss that you are going through. Time lock viewer is another 
tool that you can just uh, connect your wallet and you will find here some other guides, guides and tool that you can use in order to increase the efficiency and the level of security uh, connected to your wallet. I will not go through uh, all of them because they are many and we will spend too many time and I wanna uh, get you bored. So I will leave you just the link so you can go through all of them and you can try them with your own wallet. There is another feature that is uh, just coming, that is the, the scanner. This is something that will allow you to scan your own wallet in order to find all the different problems and the information that could be useful for you in order to increase the level of security or to improve uh, the way you are managing your wallet. Down here, there is another section that is called audits, where you can find a, a couple of databases that could be useful in the moment when you are choosing a certain kind of platform because most of the time people are asking that kind of platform is audited or not if you're using for example this database that they are defining the largest database of DeFi project audits and is all free to use so this is a large database that you can try to uh, use it you can filter by project name token name or address auditor you can see also you can select the blockchain that you are interested in and also what kind of company has done that kind of uh, audit as you can see the main one is most of the time certic going down you can find also the wrecked database this is the biggest database of crypto hacks exploit and scam also this one is pretty interesting from one side because it allows you to see uh, if uh, a search and project has already gone through uh, a scam and exploit or whatever but most of all it will help you to understand what kind of scams and uh, hacks can happen inside this kind of world and the last feature is just to request a fast track audit because you have to know the DeFi yield is also offering the auditing service. So as you can see, the DeFi yield app is an app that is allowing you to manage and to track actively your own wallet. You will find all your activities, your holdings, and also some idea in order to improve the way that you are managing. They are offering some nice tool in order to help you increase the level of security, for example, scanning your wallet, managing your approvals, and also the impairment loss calculator. That is something that most of the people are every time wondering how to calculate it and having it directly into your tool that you're using to track your wallet is something that could be quite nice. And finally, you will also have all the database about direct, so about scams and hacks, and also on the other side about the different auditings that are happening in this market. So as you can understand, we are really talking about a top tool that is investing a lot to keep growing, and as I showed you before, they are still keep increasing the different integration, the different blockchains that are supported, and they are working to release always new features. This is a tool that I will use because I really like what they are doing. If you like that kind of tool, give an eye because it is something that whatever you are using, if you are using DeFi Yield is okay, if you're using another app is okay in any way, but what I really suggest you is keep an eye, track your wallet because it's quite easy to be lost between all the different uh, protocols that are outside, not to mention that always track what kind of permissions you have granted to a specific smart contract. Because just granting different permissions and forgetting about them could be quite dangerous. So always keep an eye on them and be sure to be secure before doing anything. Guys, as always, if you have any kind of question, if you would like to know more about this app, just write me into the comments below and I will be more than happy to hear from you. And if you like this kind of content, if you wanna support me, remember always to subscribe, leave a thumbs up and drop a comment. This is the best way to help me. Guys, thank you for following me and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.